Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. I'm super excited to bring this video to you today. I'm always super excited to bring my videos to you. Today we have a new purchase from um, that I made from Colours to Carol. It's been a while since I purchased anything from Colours to Carol. I kind of have like a ton of Crellies from her and I've been just trying to not purchase so much nail polish and or purchase really unique nail polishes. So I have a bunch of unique nail polishes to my collection right here to show you. I'm going to swatch them for you and show you on a swatch stick. So let's just get right into it. The first one I'm going to show you is called Clover Fiesta. Here it is on a swatch stick. It's recommended when you get a Crelly to turn it upside down. You'll get a lot more glitters out that way if you leave it turned upside down for 10 minutes or so. I have these little, they're little measuring cups. And I got these at Walmart for like 94 cents. I got them to do some water marbling, but they work great to hold my nail polish upside down for a little bit before I put it on. Clover Fiesta is a mint green Crelly. I really didn't have this one upside down that long because I really want to get this video done. And it has um, hollow dust and a fun mix of green, yellow, and gold glitters in various sizes and shapes. And this is good. You do want to, you know, put your polish on thinly and work in layers. I think I got this one a little bit too thin, so it's probably going to take like three layers, but um, this dries pretty quickly. Here we also have the wide flat brushes, which I really like. And you know, I've forgotten how great Clures de Carol Crellies really are. They are an amazing formula. There is no, they're easy to apply. So there's no streaking or stuff that I've gotten with some other Crellies that were kind of hard to apply. At least this formula is super good. So I really, really like that. And it, you know, looks like I'm going to want one more coat. I mean, you can figure out what you like to wear if you want it more opaque or if you want it a little on the sheer side. This is a really pretty crawly. Here is the third coat. And that base color does build up really good in three coats. And get a ton of glitter on there by the third coat. Here is three coats. It does dry down rather chunky, so you will need a couple of good coats of top coat, and these are glitter, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to remove. Well, glitter is glitter. Here is Clover Fiesta with two coats of top coat. You can see how nice and smooth the top coat smooths out all the glitters. You just might need one or two coats of top coat, depending on the top coat you're using. You want a really good thick top coat for smoothing out glitters. This one is one of my absolute favorites. It is called Under the Stars, and it looks like it was part of the Valentine's Day polishes. Here it is on a swatch stick. I actually forgot to put base coat on for that last one. Base and top coats that I use will be in the description box below. And this one is, doesn't have any glitter. <laughs> it does, it didn't come out right now. That's okay. This one is described as an orchid purple crelly with pink watermelon and magenta stars. It also has 
neon orange and pink glitters and it has aquamarine and periwinkle glitters and hopefully we'll get to see all of that on my fingernails this is my favorite crelly oh i cannot believe oh there we go so i can't believe that we didn't get any glitter on the second try this is my favorite crelly i absolutely love this color i should have gotten an extra bottle this is really beautiful here is the third coat There's a star right there. <laughs> that's what I was looking for, a star. Ooh, that's so pretty. And here we have it with two coats of top coat. And I picked out some more stars. <laughs> this one is just so fun and pretty. This one is a topper. This one is called Love is the Greatest Adventure, and it is from the Valentine's Day collection. Here it is on a swatch stick. I'm just showing this glitter topper right over my bare nails, so you can put it over any color you like. This is a clear base with silver hollow micro glitter, pastel glitters, and mini hearts in silver red and magenta. Here are some of those hearts on my brush and hopefully we'll come off of my, on my nails. Nope, that wasn't a heart. I think they'd like to stick to the, uh, the brush stem. I actually just like this in one coat. Here is a heart. So I am just going to leave it in one coat. Here is one coat of the topper and two coats of top coat to smooth out the glitter. Here is the next one. This one is called Mistletoe Motel. Here it is on a swatch stick. This one is the last one. It is called Ugly Sweater Day. This is a topper and here it is on a swatch stick. Unfortunately, since I purchased these and received them on Monday, they've gone out of stock. I just checked and they're no longer available. So I'm not going to show you the live swatches of these. And I super apologize. I did get these on Monday. However, Gucci, if you guys don't know Gucci, Gucci is my teeny toy poodle and she had to have surgery on Monday. And since the polishes came Monday, I couldn't even open them until Tuesday because we're in a very frigid zone. And she came home Tuesday and we had lots of issues. Here is little Gucci back from her orthopedic surgery. She had a rotating patella and for most of this past year, her back leg was out of its socket and she's walking on all threes. I didn't know there was an operation. And when I found out there was one, I got her in and got her the operation. So she will be all better. And then we had some issues with her not eating and her stomach being super upset. So she's on anti-nausea medicine and eating baby food. So she's got two more days of anti-nausea medicine and I'll keep her on baby food for three more days. <laughs> 
And now it's nap time because she just ate her baby food chicken. She does not eat the baby food sweet potatoes, which is strange. Those things taste really good. I guess I'll be eating baby food sweet potatoes. <laughs> say hi, Gucci. Can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi? <laughs> Because of the operation, Gucci can't be running around and jumping off the couch and stuff. So basically, while I'm doing my nail stuff, this is how I have to confine her <laughs> to the couch. No, I do not have a crate. She was Houdini as a puppy and <laughs> got out of everything. So no, she's not crated. We don't have a crate. It would upset her. I do have a playpen for her, but it's ups it upsets her <laughs> to be in there. So this is where she's comfortable on the couch. And for bedtime, I bought her a, <laughs> it's a baby bed <laughs> because she thinks she can sneak off the bed and jump down. And that's, you know, I mean, that was before the operation. So definitely we can't have that after the operation. So I purchased this so she can feel secure and comfy and I can lay in my bed too and be comfortable. And because I didn't think of that soon enough, I had to sleep for three nights on half a couch. The couch is big, yes. However, you know, half a couch is half a couch. <laughs> so what we do for our little fur puppies. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye for now.